Alright, I wanted to do something a little different than what I usually do because I've been covering uh, nothing but comic book art. And uh, I wanted to cover uh, an artist that is not technically, well, it, I mean, is not even close to comic book art, but it's definitely a huge inspiration to people like Frank Frazetta and, I, and obviously people like Disney. And uh, the other reason I like looking at Heinrich Clay's work is because it's, it's just pen and ink. So, I mean, what you get is what you get. There's, I mean, there might have been some preliminary stuff that went on, but uh, most of it is just straight pen and ink, which I find is amazing. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do, I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of videos on this. I actually have another book by Henry Clay that I do want to cover as well, but I just kind of want to go through this artwork because... The reason why I make these videos is not for views or anything for that. The reason why I do these videos is because I want to get inspired and I might as well share, you know, artists and artwork and comic books with other people. Uh, so, man, what a great picture. I mean, technically it's not the drawing to start out with. I mean, you get this preliminary stuff, you know, preliminary, pre preliminary feeling drawing, but then you get this kind of finished piece and... Man, pen and ink, probably the best at using pen and ink. And the other thing that you can learn from from an artist like Heinrich Clay is you can learn about cross hatching, and you can learn about you know how the forms move and using contour lines to to show you how something is foreshortened. Or how something's in front of, you know, a form is in front of another form. I mean, look at that work. I mean, look at that pen work. I mean, these had to have been... Um, I don't think there was any preliminary stuff going on here. I think it was just straight. Taking out a pen and putting some paper, you know, or putting down some pen on a paper. And I'm going to get this finished piece. I mean, you see these squiggly lines, you know. I mean, that work is unbelievable. And you see the the contours following the forms. I mean, this is the stuff that if you really want to become a great artist, you got to look at this stuff because it's going to get you really inspired. I mean, that anatomy, unbelievable. I mean, this guy was literally just taking pen the confidence of just you know some people including myself i'm terrified of using pen because i'm just like oh i'm gonna screw up i'm gonna dirty paper i'm gonna make paper dirty but you got a dirty paper if you want to be able to draw anything like this I mean, look at that what years were these i probably should have done some more research you know on the years well, this was published in 1961 by Dover. So, early 1940s. So he died 1945. So, I mean, this was early work. I mean, or, you know, this was before really comic books got big and way before Frazetta and I know Frazetta was a big fan of Heinrich Clay and how could you not be I mean look at that man look at that tree look how great that tree is it looks amazing and he drew he drew great animals amazing animals I know he was big on uh, drawing animals with you know human you know, behavior, which I'm not really a big fan of that stuff. But his figure work is just, man, look at that. Look at that. I mean, I'm again, I'm not a big fan of the, the animal stuff, but it looks great. It looks amazing. You know, it was just random stuff that he would draw sometimes. You know, people as... It looks like bottles. You know. Look at 
Look at that. I just, you know, not a lot of people I feel like know about Heinrich Clay. I don't know why. I found out about him probably about two or three years ago. I'd never heard of him before. And, I mean, his work just changed my life. I mean, he's drawing these two very similar... I mean, it, it looks like very early comic book-like. Man, look at that. Look at, look at those lines. Man, it's mostly black. But what he kept white works. And the figure looks great and everything looks great in it. I think I'll turn the turn it. Didn't draw the greatest bike uh ever in the world, but uh man look at that. It's amazing. Two hundred drawings it says in this book and I mean you get so much. I think I got this book for like ten bucks. And you get so much in it. Look at the motion. Look at, so, let's do this real quick. Look at that gesture. He's just squiggling around to find that gesture. He's going, okay, yep, yep, yep. And then he finally gets this gesture. I mean, it's just squiggles. And he adds some form to it. And there you go. And then look at that. Look at that motion. Sorry, I'm just trying to look in on it. I'm trying to get my eyes closer on it. I mean, his character, I mean, his drawings had so much life to them. And it's just pen and ink. What a bizarre, bizarre drawing. Dude's literally got his head up that chick's ass. But, hey man. Got to move that train, I guess, right? Look at that. Another piece, I mean, it's just like very, you know, a lot of black. But he adds white in the right area, and then he just kind of, I mean, I, I imagine that had to have just been just a, pen you know just a silhouette and then he added the the inks to it some more animals if you like animal drawings or you, or you like to look you know you like to draw animals I mean Heinrich Clay is maybe one of the best I mean I, I think his figure work is unbelievable I mean look at that there's so much, um, you know, so much life in his drawings. I mean, the confidence. I mean, he was a master. Kind of looks like the Grinch, doesn't it? But yeah, look at that. Man, what a bizarre... Some of his work is very, very bizarre. Look at that. Look at the... Oh, man. Oh, well, sorry. You can't see that, but... Look at that. Look at that motion. He's doing this with pen and ink. I don't think there's any preliminary sketch going in at all because it's very squiggly to kind of get there. And just this move... You know, just lifting this character up with such motion. Unbelievable. Man. You know, you can definitely see how Frazetta was, was, you know, inspired by this guy, for sure. Another bizarre drawing. Very bizarre. Some of his stuff was very bizarre. bizarre. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is this guy's sketchbook. Man. 
He draw he drew great women. Absolutely amazing women. God. What could this guy not draw? You know, I guess a bicycle. He did not draw a very good bicycle. But I guarantee you there'll be a picture. There'll be a drawing of here in here of a bicycle. That just looks amazing. I guarantee it. I mean, he's just squiggling. I mean, some of the stuff is is not even finished. I think that's a really popular, like, really famous Henry Clay drawing. Man. I could just look at this for forever. That's so detailed. I mean, this was a sketchbook, I'm assuming. Or maybe they were just sketches. Look at that. Unbelievable. My computer's about to die, that sucks. It's kind of going through it quickly. There's a lot in these books. A lot. I would say if you're at all interested in drawing or just want to look at some great artwork, this is a book I would absolutely pick up. I think it's very affordable too. I mean, it was printed by Dover. It's actually a high quality Dover book too. And uh, I mean, their books are usually high quality. I know that I got a Bridgman, George Bridgman uh, Dover book that was absolute garbage. Um, it, was, it was printed on like Bible paper. But this is, you know, Man, look at that. I mean, this is a solid investment. Even if you're just interested in artwork. Or have never heard of Heinrich Clay before. I mean, there's so much motion in his work. And I mean, he inspired so many people. I feel like. You know, I mean, Disney was inspired by him. Sorry, just going through this quickly. My computer is literally about to die. I probably should have put the charger in. But uh, I did not. And look at that. I mean, even a simple drawing like that, there's no shading going on. There's no contour. There's nothing. And it just looks amazing. That's just him going, I'm going to go with the pen and see where it takes me. That's all it is. Great drawing. Great anatomical drawing with pen. And. That's awesome, too. That's amazing. So, yeah, anyways, that's Heinrich Clay. Uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing artist. I'm going to do this one probably at some point. Uh, I just wanted to cover something that wasn't comic books uh, for a video. I think I'm going to do a uh, top ten favorite, or maybe top five, top ten favorite drawing books at some point, too. Uh, learn how to draw books, anatomical books, you know, gesture books, stuff like that. So, anyways, yeah, Heinrich Clay. Absolutely amazing.